fellow YouTube friends. It's Ben here and uh, thank you for joining me. Today I want to show you uh, some flashes of color that I'm starting to see in the 60-gallon uh, grow-out tank. The 60-gallon um, uh, Juvie Hep Nation tank that I've been uh, uh, promoting through those individual fish videos. And I uh, just want to show you some of the fish that are starting to, to uh, show promise and uh, maybe get your comments on those fish below. Let me know what you think. Do you, do you think I have a male? Uh, sometimes some females can show uh, can show color. And um, I had a female I gave away just the other day that had uh, wonderful color in the dorsal and uh, even had some uh, what looked like egg spots, some color around the gills. Uh, but, you know, she, she, uh, she carried and uh, produced fry twice. So um, sometimes, some of, unless you actually vent them, which uh, I've never attempted, but uh, you know, sometimes you can get uh, deceived. I've also heard lots of stories about uh, fish that uh, uh, the person is, is just about ready to uh, give away that turns out to be a, a, a beautiful male that was just a very late bloomer. So uh, one of the challenges that uh, us, uh, us cichlid keepers run into. But certainly when we start to see flashes of color, we get pretty excited. So um, let me share with you uh, what, what is popping up in the 60 gallon and uh and tell me what you think all right thank you so much so here's the 60 gallon and uh the fish are pretty worked up waiting for me to feed them and like most uh, cichlids when they see me they think it's uh it's time to be fed but some of the fish that um have been showing a lot of promise recently include that um Malawi hawk there at the back of the tank I'm starting to see flashes of blue on the sides of, of uh, the hawk and on the uh, peck and anal fins. Of course, it's uh, very early. Hawks can take a very long time to color up. You're seeing a lot of micro bubbles from the agitation that's going on at the top. As those of you know, I'm kind of a very big on oxygen. There's some fish that you're already aware of, like the uh, Super Red Empress. They've been looking really good. The VC-10s recently have started to show some color, some red on the uh, tips of the dorsal, as well as some nice spots, some promising spots at the back of the dorsal and on the tail. So the VC-10s are showing some very nice promise. And the, uh, the Venusis believe it or not, are kind of shy for some reason, but I'm starting to see the development of that yellow blaze on their forehead that usually comes along with a male. And one of them is more prominent than the others. So I may have one male and possibly two females or possibly two males. I'm really liking the markings on the polystigma. See the polystigma right here. And the markings on that fish are very, very nice. I mean, imagine that fish with a little bit of color. It's going to be a very, very nice specimen. It is a cousin of the living stani, who is just a big brood of a fish. Might be the next fish that goes over to the 135, like I did with the Rostratus not that long ago. And of course the tetrastigma that you're familiar with continues to look very, very good. And the fish that I featured in one of my last uh, videos, the uh, blue dolphins, of course, are looking very, very good. And like I said, they're a little worked up right now, trying to uh, create some space around the area that they think the food is going to be dropping in. And probably one of the fish I'm most excited about is the John Stoning. This one right here in the corner. He's starting to show some nice color, some blue on the sides, and some very nice, nice markings on the uh, tail, the anal fin. Not sure if you can see the flashes of blue, but 
I have some high hopes for that guy. Not a common, not a fish you see too common in the hobby. When I first picked him up, the Taiwan Reef was trying to breed with him. And I think they both concluded that uh, that's not going to work. <laughs> but the Taiwan Reef, of course, uh, notorious for wanting to breed with everything. You don't see the linny in here. The uh, linny is out back uh, going through a uh, some treatment with some uh, general cure. The linny was uh, having some labored breathing, some gasping, and wasn't taking food. So I suspect that some parasites might have gotten around the gills. Something was going on. So I removed the linny from the tank and uh, put him in a hospital tank and gave him a full regimen of um, general cure. And I'm happy to announce that he's now taking food, which he wasn't doing for about a week. And, uh, and his breathing has calmed down considerably. So I'm, uh, I'm on the last stages of, uh, of that treatment. So you'll probably see him back in this, uh, in this tank pretty soon. The um, Super Red Empress is just really looking good. So, like I said, for uh, cichlid keepers, when color shows up, it's like Christmas. You can see the little buco there, showing a little yellow on the dorsal. Some nice colors. The face is not blue, but a nice color on the pec fins. Face is kind of dark. I suspect that's a male, and we'll start showing some colors pretty soon. And the Fusco is starting to show some blue and some flashes of color on the sides and of course has great markings on the tail and dorsal. I like the red and the blue that's coming in. Of course Fuscos are one of my favorite fish. This one is pretty, uh, pretty aggressive, pretty boisterous and like I've said before in other videos that is what you get with, with Haps. And you can see here the nice blue that's coming in and some red on the dorsal. So some high hopes for that Fusco. Being harassed by the uh, John Stoney, of course, he holds his own. So there's the update on the 60. A lot of good things happening here. And uh, little dashes of color that are promising. Here's the linny in the uh, hospital tank. He's taking food again and not gasping like he was before. He was very uh, sort of inactive and gasping at the back of the tank. He's not gasping as much. His breathing isn't as labored as it was. And you can see that he's uh, looking pretty good. He's got some good color. Nice markings on the tail, even on the uh, on his fins. All his fins really have some nice markings. He's hanging around this little uh, cone here because there's a, you can't see him really. Maybe you can see a silhouette. There's a little fry in there. And uh, I think he's being stalked by the linny. I knew that was a risk when I put him in here. He just ignored the fry altogether when I first put him in. And uh, now he's kind of stalking him a little bit, which I think is a good sign. <laughs> so... Uh, I'll get him out of here and put him back in the 60 before he has a chance to eat that little guy. Had a couple fry left over. There's the linny. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. 
and uh, I really appreciate you joining me here on the video and I want to thank all you folks who have recently subscribed the channel is doing great up over uh, well up over 4,000 subscribers and I uh, I uh, also want to thank my friends over at, uh, you know, Hat Nation, my friend Evan Alexander for the collaborations. And, uh, you know, there's a few tanks I want you folks to go out and see, uh, make a point of seeing. Um, our friend, uh, uh, the Inventory King, has some great stuff going on with his tanks. Um, IFG, uh, you know, hashtag Hat Nation, the Inquisitive Fish Guy, has some great stuff going on with his tanks. Um, and, of course, Adam C. has some wonderful fish as does uh, Corey Hecker. I mean, these folks have uh, some tanks that will give you a, uh, a serious case of, uh, of tank envy, of TE, uh, that will, uh, will certainly take uh, longer than four hours and uh, require you to call a doctor. So uh, take a look at those tanks. Um, one other tank that I love looking at is, uh, and uh, the fellow has a, a great setup. Uh, not just in the tank itself, but in, in the system he has set up to support the tank um, with the uh, sump um, is, uh, well, two, two individuals. One, Dennis Rudell. If you don't know Denny's, Denny's uh, Aquatics, uh, De uh, Dennis Rudell. And uh, he's uh, one, of, one of the admins over at the Facebook page, the Ben O. Cichlid Facebook page. And then also Half Man, Half Cichlid. Half Man, Half Cichlid. Look him up on YouTube. He has a, a tremendous setup and uh, some uh, very impressive fish and uh, worth a look. Uh, there's a lot more, more than I could possibly cover right now. And uh, of course, Jay Wilson has some wonderful stuff going on, you know, with his Shelleys and, and his tro uh, Trophius. And, um, and you have some e enormous projects going on with Joey, the king of D um, DIY, and, uh, and uh, with, uh, with Corey. At, at Corey's co-op, you know, he has that giant tank that he's setting up. So there's some exciting stuff going on in the industry, you know, in the hobby. And uh, so a good time to be in the hobby. So uh, a lot of these folks are pioneering things and uh, making the mistakes that we can all learn from. So um, at any rate, thank you so much uh, for subscribing and for tuning in. And uh, that's, uh, that's all I have for now. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. This is my uh, Beagle Chromis. <laughs> Pepper. Hey, Pepper. Say hi to everybody in YouTube land. And this is Lucy. She's a rescue. <laughs>